for a bit of kitchen inspiration? If you are, make sure you check out ProChefGearPlus.com. They've got aprons and chef coats and hats and spices and marinades and cookbooks and even knives. Go on, get some cool knives from them. If you want to get a 15% discount off your order of $50 or more, use discount code Kimberly for cooking with Kimberly. Kimberly, that's K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y. Make sure you get on out there, check out what they've got, be a champion in your kitchen. ProChefGearPlus.com. Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and we are making chicken pot pie tonight and we're making a really cool kind of chicken pot pie tonight because I got this really cool stoneware clay pot. It's uh, from Russia, it's actually from a website called fromrussia.com. It's Vyatka Ceramic and uh, it's from out of Kirov, Russia. Anyway, part of my background is Germans who lived in Russia. We were from a village called Continuusfeld and they were actually German before they came. Anyway, whatever you got me. Part of my heritage, so I want to try and do some more stuff in this cool stuff. So make sure you go check them out. Cool stuff, man. They have really, really neat, whole variety of different kinds of stoneware that you can. Cool stuff. Anyway, I'll be back over there. So I'm going to move right, this out so the way, so I'm going to show you the rest of this now. Here you go. We're going to use chicken. We're going to use some peas, some corn, some carrots, some mushrooms. We're going to mix it all together. It's going to be heaven on earth. Now, what I was going to say, too, about these guys is you slow cook, you can slow cook in these. You can't put this on direct heat, you have to put it in the oven. So I've got like a cookie sheet that I'm gonna put it on. So it's easy to move, but hey, you got this cool fork that it comes with thing. You use a hot pad or, you know, an oven mitt, and you go like that, so you can transfer it to someone's plate and serve it like that. How cool is that? How cute is that? Anyway, I'm excited about that. So you can do like slow cook stuff and you can get all the flavors happy and married and mingling, and that's what we're gonna do here tonight. Cool? So, right now I'm going to show you, I'm going to chop up some um, carrots. I a carrot. Like, I only need like a handful of each ingredient, really, because I need it all to fit in there, right? And then I'm going to put a nice little crust on the top. You'll see how cool that is. So, hey, I'm going to use a nice sharp knife. Make sure you're using a nice sharp knife. My goodness, Mercer Renaissance knife is what I use if you're going to ask. It's high quality German steel. It's from ProChefGearPlus.com. Make sure you go check them out. Use the discount code Kimberly, K-I-M-B-R-L-Y, and you will be able to get yourself a nice 15% discount off your order, $50 or more. Cool? I want to grab one of these knives, they're cool. But you want to use a really sharp knife because you don't want to hurt yourself. The more pressure you need to use to chop something with a dull knife, the more likelihood you have of slipping and hurting yourself and cutting yourself more than with a sharp knife. Did you know that? Now, I also wanted to say, I use the skin on the carrot if it looks nice like this, right? That's where lots of the nutrients are. Most people peel it off and throw it away. Why would you do that? That's where the nutrients are. Get healthy, guys. Get smart. Come on now. Use them. So I have, you know, a handful of carrots, and now I'm going to mince them, okay? So I want them to be about the size of pieces of corn and carrots, you know? I want things to be somewhat uniform-ish in there, just... Cause I'm being funny like that tonight. And then you just keep running your knife through. Be very careful with nice sharp knives. Very nice. Now when you're doing this rocking back and forth motion, make sure you're touching the top upper edge of this and you're not going to get your fingers underneath. Okay? Okay. So that's a nice handful. Now I'm going to put that in the bowl with the corn. I don't know, just cause. And I'm also going to slice up some mushrooms, slice them in half and then do some nice quarter slices. Got me? The mushrooms can be a nice different um, size. They're also a nice different texture. All right, so I did four. I got four mushrooms here. Got me? Okay, so my mushrooms are done, right? They are also going to go into this nice bowl. Right. Now, a little trick I've got. Instead of making a roux, I'm doing this slow, right? I don't, I, don't have, I don't have time to do a roux. I don't really feel like doing a roux. I want to put this clayware, stoneware to the test. You got me? So, I have a brilliant, I had a brilliant idea. I'm also putting peas in. Now, I heated up these peas, and I heated them up with butter. Got me? So now I've got butter in there. Instead of having to put chunks of butter or melt butter all through, I don't want to do that right now. I just don't feel like it. So I melted the, I heated the peas with the butter. So now they've got butter on them. In this bowl, I've got the rest of those vegetables. They're slightly moist because they're fresh vegetables. I have about a half a teaspoon of just plain all-purpose flour, and I'm going to sprinkle that on there. 
make sure it all gets in there and just make sure you coat all those nice little veggies okay the reason for this is you know it's my idea of thickening it's gonna thicken up your nice little concoction you've got going on you've got me okay so that's all mixed up now let's assemble I have it looks like about a cup of chicken I've got the peas right here and I've got these mixed veggies got me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix all of this together in this big bowl Just mix it all up nice Please. now this is going to compress while it's in there because you know it's got spaces in between when things are nice and whole and fresh but it's all going to consolidate nicely so now we're going to season this this is all mixed up together got me we are going to use some really cool salt and peppers today because I just like feeling being different sometimes. So I'm using a Drogaria salt grinder. This is a Cypress sea salt that I'm using. It's a flake salt. Couple, you know, swidges of that. And I've got this super cool pepper. It's actually part of the ginger family, right? And it's out of Africa. It's West African. And check these out. They're called grains of paradise. They're nice little tiny seeds. Anyways, these little seeds are ground seeds that are cultivated and picked up, got me, off of this plant. So I'm gonna use like, I don't know, maybe half a teaspoon of these bad boys. And I am going to use my mor new mortar and pestle that I'm in love with, and I'm gonna just crush them all up nice in here, okay? All right, so these are from Epicurial. These are Epicurial Grains of Paradise Pepper Seeds. Try them out. Anyways, I got both of these from Koala First Foods, koalafirst.com online. They're the bomb for stuff like that. Check them out. And that's going to go into my bowl as well. Bueno. Then I'm also going to put a little bit of chili in here. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. That's also a Dragaria grinder. They're the awesome. Okay, so we're going to mix this in the bowl one more time. Make sure everything's distributed evenly. Get it in there. You can put onion and garlic in here if you want to as well. All right, into the pot, into the pot. Get it all in there, guys. You can get it in, make sure you squish it all in. It's all going to condense, don't worry. And you also are going to have room for that nice topping. Okay, so at this point, if you really were feeling yourself today, you could put white wine in here, you could put red wine if you just don't care, whatever. Do your thing, we'll do your thing. If you want to put stock in here, you can. If you want to put just water in here, you can. You know, whatever floats your boat, whatever's clever, okay? So, now I'm gonna pour some stock in. Bring some chicken stock in. Pour, pour, pour. You want it to make a nice gravy, mix everything in there nice together. Okay, let's just see how that's going in there, how deep that is. How much should I put in there? I put probably three quarters of a cup of liquid. Don't forget, all these veggies have a lot of flavor in liquid too, right? So, all right, and then I'm going to put a dot of butter on top just because I feel like it, because that's just the way my mommy does it, and that's how I'm going to do it, darn it all. Right, Mom? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Butter is better. Butter is better. <laughs> now, if you wanted to put some cream in, you can. You don't have to. Whatever. I'm going to put the lid on, though, because I want all that nice juice to stay in. Put a little bit more liquid. I want all that nice juice to stay in there. You got me? Oh, it's going to be beautiful. And then I'm going to show you how to put the little crust on right before you serve it. And Oh, man. All right. So sit tight. Okay. So I'm back, and I'm excited because this, this beautiful little crock pot has this simmering and bubbling, and everything's all together. And looking delicious I'm so excited so but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to top it with a super easy crouton grab a piece of bread grab a nice big measuring cup like a cup's worth it fits perfectly in here so what I'm gonna do with this is toast it first I'm gonna toast it. I have the broiler on right now I'm gonna toast it in here just really quickly like a minute or two we'll be all right, right everybody I'm back now I have this nice and toasted nice and toasted and I'm just going to plunk this right on the top like that Got me? Now, that's the quick way to do it. You can butter that if you want to. You can put mayonnaise on it or spread or whatever the heck you want to do, okay? Now, onto this, I'm putting some mozzarella cheese. 
I'm gonna melt it on there. I'm gonna throw this back under the broiler. Under the broiler for like, I don't know, four minutes, five minutes. And it's gonna be all golden brown and delicious looking. Oh man, I can't wait to show you, okay? Sit tight. Okay, here you go. It's all done, it's bubbly, it's brown and beautiful. Turn your oven off. Make sure you're using your oven mitts. It's hot as all Hades. I'm gonna grab you a plate right quick. Here's my plate. Now, don't forget, it comes with this really cool little thing, the bobber, that you can move it from place to place very gently. And just make sure you use your pad right there so you don't hurt yourself. Now, while I was broiling it, I put this on there to broil it as well with it, okay? I didn't leave it in there the whole time. I didn't want it to burn. But it's a perfect little dipper that you can put in there. And how cool is that with the hole in it, right? So just serve it like that. That's kind of neat and cool. Anyway, that's how you do a chicken pot pie in there. In one of these little clay pots. Make sure you check out these pots at fromrussia.com. I think they're super, super cool, eh, Mom? Yes, you could Mom. do all kinds of things in there. Mom just had a French onion soup in there. It was, mm. like, stellar. Fantastic. Anyways, that's it. That's all. That's how you make chicken pot pie and these little stoneware ramekins. Super cool. So, hope you like me on Facebook, or follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page. It's facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. All my shows are at youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly, and the site is cooking with Kimberly.com. And that's it. That's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.